Allie Raceman joins me live. Thank you very much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Uh, this is for everyone involved with this case. Um, emotional to the max. What is this day like for you? Well, last night I was I was sick. I was up all night and I was sick. Um, like I've said, and I'll say time and time again, abuse is not something that you suffer just in the moment. It carries on with you for the rest of your life. And um, even though I'm not there today, I still feel it. It's um, traumatizing. It's nerve wracking. This interview right now, I feel like my hands are shaking. It's not something that's comfortable to talk about, but I'm determined to make sure the current and the future generations are safe. So, um, you know, we have to keep talking about it to make sure this never happens again. Well, we want to make it as comfortable as we can for you. Uh, when Simone Biles, your Olympic teammate, went public yesterday, I know you tweeted a, a very eloquent picture, the two of you holding hands. What did it mean to you when she went public with her story? When I read her, um, her tweet and her Instagram post yesterday, I was shaking. I was almost in tears because it just, it, it's, it's hard to put into words how horrifying this is. I mean, all of my teammates and even the brave young girls that I don't know that have come forward and even, you know, the last couple months, anyone that's come forward, you know, boys, girls, men, women, anyone that I don't know, you still, it's a horrible feeling because sexual abuse or abuse is never ever okay and to have it happen to Simone is one of my best friends and to see her write that about having to go back to the ranch I mean I hope USA Gymnastics listens because they haven't listened to us so far I hope they listen and I hope they don't make any of the girls go back to the ranch no one should have to go back there after you know so many of us were abused there yeah as we continue on our OTL special for the next 30 minutes uh, the sentencing of Larry Nasser. You mentioned USA Gymnastics. Uh, I want to read you the statement they issued yesterday in basically in response to a very specific list of questions that we did pose to them, but uh, it's long on non-specifics. USA Gymnastics admires and supports the young women who have courageously stepped forward to share their stories of abuse, especially those who have been abused by Larry Nasser. This week is about justice for those women, giving them opportunity to speak directly to their predator and share with the judge the impact of his crimes. We urge the judge to levy the most severe penalty on Nasser for the reprehensible crimes he committed. We are sorry that any athlete was harmed during her gymnastics career. USA Gymnastics is committed to and focused on furthering developing a culture of empowerment that has saved sport as a top priority throughout the organization. This includes promoting an environment that empowers everyone to be observant, to have the courage to question and speak up about difficult topics, especially abuse, period. As a principal here, as, as a survivor, what do you make of that statement? I mean... USA Gymnastics statements are, I mean, it, it's, I don't even have words. It's so disappointing. I mean, every single time they release a statement, it's basically the same thing, saying they care and they're working, they welcome to work with their athletes, but they don't mean it. Um, you know, if they really cared, the second they realized that we were abused, they would meet with us and ask us to help because we're all more than willing to help. We want to create change. Um, and, you know, if they really cared, if they really were sorry, they would be there in Michigan supporting all of their athletes and listening to their impact statements. Um, but, I mean, I don't think they care. I don't think they're sorry. I think they just released their statements. And uh, it's, it's disappointing. You know, if they really mm. cared, then um, there would be a lot of change, and there has not been enough change. What was your sense? Describe the, the nature of the conversations between you and your family and USA Gymnastics when you first brought to their attention your accusations against Nasser. What did you come to believe was important to the Federation? From the moment that I um, realized that I had been abused, you know, for so long, I had been manipulated, and I was very confused, as many people are. Sometimes you don't really realize you are being abused because Larry was such a master manipulator, and he was so good at brainwashing um, me and so many other people. And so the second that I realized it did happen to me, I told my mom and then we uh, told USA Gymnastics. And to me, it seemed like they um, threatened me to be quiet. You know, their biggest priority from the beginning and still today is their reputation, the medals they win and the money they make off of us. I don't think that they care. Um, if they cared, then the second they realized that I was abused, they would have reached out, asked if I needed Therapy asked if I was okay, asked what they could have done, and they would have 
they would have made a big change. Mm. Instead, they allowed Larry to continue to work on little girls in Michigan and molest gymnasts for a very long time. And that's just, I don't know how they sleep at night. I'm so angry that after realizing that we were abused, they let him continue to molest other gymnasts. When they told me there was an investigation going on, they told me to be quiet. Um, and I, I thought that they were doing the right thing and I didn't want to tip off the investigation. I trusted them and I, I shouldn't have. Who specifically are you angry at? You know, there's a lot of people that I'm angry at, but I think that we need an investigation to really get to the bottom of how many people um, looked the other way and um, didn't handle the abuse correctly. I wish I had all the answers, but I don't. I don't think that a lot of people do, but I want the answers, and I really hope there is an investigation going on right now because it was not, it's unacceptable the way that they handled it um, from day one. You said threatened. How were you threatened in your mind? You know, I, I, was t I was told to be quiet. And I think that when somebody in high power is telling you to be quiet, um, it, it, you know, when, right when they realize you are abused, I think that that is a threat. And especially when their first concern should be to make sure I'm okay, to get information from me, to see if my other teammates were abused, to see um, what else I knew, to get to the bottom of it. Uh, but also, you know, we, my mom and I kept reaching out to Steve Penny, who is the former CEO of USA Gymnastics, and saying, is there an investigation going on? We want answers. We want to make sure Larry isn't harming anyone else. And USA Gymnastics just said, we're handling this. We got this. Like, stop asking us questions. Don't talk about it because you're going to tip off the investigation. So I didn't want to jeopardize anything. Come to find out they didn't report it right away, which is just... You know, obviously, if the CEO of, a, of USA Gymnastics is telling you they're handling it and they reported it, you're going to believe them. You would never. I don't want to believe that someone is mm. lying to me about something so horrific. So it's just we need an investigation to get to the bottom of it.